What's up guys? In this tutorial you will learn to do this type of plot that you are looking behind me. This is a workload plot where, uh, where we can see what is the most used work using text analysis with the library of Quantida. So let's start. So in the comments of this YouTube video is going to be the code for this project. At the end, we got the result of two word plots that is going to contain uh, information from comments from USA and UK from YouTube training videos. The dataset is obtained from Kaggle. Uh, the link is also in the in the code, so you can uh, download that and work. So let's start. So this is going to be a fast tutorial, uh, only less. I hope this is going to be less than five minutes. So I'm not going to write all the code. I'm only going to explain the important parts that I hope it will help you to understand. And then you can download the GitHub code and write it for yourself. So let's start. First, uh, we're working with uh, notebooks in R. So you can create this, the HTML review, and put it in some web, some web page. So first, uh, the first step is going to be uh, going to import the the libraries that we're, we're going to use. The first li library is going to be Quantida, and the second library is going to be a library from Quantida called TextPlots. So you have to install these libraries. Then you have to call the libraries so you can activate the package in our studio. For example, if you run library Quantida you should see a check let me search here here you can see a check right here so the library is active and you can work with that library then we're going to work and uh, import the, da the data uh, for R you can import with the command read point csv but i have a problem with that because uh, the the emojis uh, was was not working properly, so I, I'm going to import this manually. We're going to uh, these excels are from the database, but uh, these excels are going to be also in the GitHub link, so you can download. This is the two the two CSVs. So GB is from UK. Let's import this first. Okay, so you can see the emojis is okay. And also, we're going to import the other the data from US comments here. As you can see, the emojis are fine, and there is a lot, a lot of data, so you can work with this data. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's not an actual. Uh, it's not the comments are not so actual, but there is a lot of data. For example, you have. 700,000 observations in UK and almost the same in US. So let's start. So we import the data to R. Then we're going to save this data in a new variable that is going to be called that data US and data UK. Let's hit run. Uh, with the command head, we're going to see the first rows of each data. For example, for data US, you can see you have a video ID. You have the comment text that is going to be all the comments that we're going to search for the most common word. The likes and the replies. Also, you can check the data. Let me close this. You can check the data. Also, clicking here. For example, for UK, you can see the video ID, the comment that we're going to search for the word, the likes and replays. So let's continue. And next, we have to create a corpus. A corpus is a special format to use the Quantida library, so uh, you can transform this then uh, to tokens. And to do this, we're going to uh, <coughs> we're going to call this function called corpus that be that is going to be in the Quantida library. Then we're going to say the name of the data. So we have the data from US and data from UK. 
and we're going to save this in each in a variable. Also, we have to uh, we have to say to R which is the text field. So if we see the data, we can see that the comment text is the column that has all the comments. So we have to put here comment text. So if, for example, you import uh, another data, you only have to change this column name right here. And finally, in this uh, chunk right here, we're going to see a summary of the data corpus uh, and only five and only five examples. So uh, this is not going to take a too long to process. Uh, we have a lot of data, but in in later in later chunk we have to wait uh, a little. So here we can see the summary. We get this. This is the summary from US. Also, I put the code here. You can if you want to see the summary from UK. So the important uh, part from this is that each row right here is going to be considered as as a document. So for example, this text one right here is going to be a document and this text one here is going to represent this comment right here. Then the other thing that we are going to be interested is in the tokens. The tokens is the number of words that are in this uh, that are in the is in these comments. I'm sorry for that. Uh, also, you can see the sentence, the video ID, and the other variables of the of the data. After that, we have to create a matrix that is going to be the document feature matrix. So, uh, let me explain this equation really fast. For US, uh, for UK, it's going to be the same, but you only have to change the name. And we're going to see what this does. So first, we have to call this function right here that is going to be dfim or document feature matrix. Then we have to input the corpus that we created before that we call data US corpus and data US uh, UK corpus. After that, we are going to put some some rules. For example, you, when you are going to analyze text, you don't want to have a punctuation because right now we are going to analyze what is the most common word. So we are going we are going to have a lot of dots or a lot of commas. So we don't want to analyze that. So we remove this. We remove punctuation. Also, we don't want to see the numbers, so we remove the numbers. And we put this command right here that is going to be steam equals true. A steam remove the the variables from words. Uh, hold it, please. So then we have to put this right here that is going to be steam equals true. A steam removes the the oh, sorry. Uh, steam removes the the. the check this removes the derived words for example if you have consult consultant consulting consultative the prime the, the there are derived words and the principal word is going to be consult so with the steams we do that also we're going to move the, the stop words from English so we also have to remove the steam words hey, i'm sorry the where is this the stop words i'm sorry I erase this yeah we have to erase the stop words from english in this case that's going to be my myself me i he or she that words that don't appear in the analysis that don't make sense uh, well in this case so for example we don't have, want to check that so we remove that and that is all this function. That is all the attributes that we are going to put in this function. Also, if you want, if you want to check what uh, other attributes you can take, change in this function on or on any R function, you can type the question uh, the question symbol right here, and then the function. And if you hit run, you get the description of that functions and the attributes that 
that that function can have. So uh, for the U UK data is going to be the same as the US and then we're going to check the first uh, rows and only 10 columns. So this is going to take a little time to work so we're going to see you later. So uh, the chunk has a uh, run and you can see this is the matrix that we get as a result. Uh, this is the matrix for let's check the matrix for US. I think this is the matrix for US. No, yeah, this is the matrix for US. So for example, in this matrix the quantity library is going to check all the documents that is going to be in the first column at the left and then it's going to put how many times that work is appearing in that document and then this is going to be I'm going to do that for all the documents and um, with this matrix we can do the plot the work plot the workflow I'm sorry this plot right here uh, so let's do that so first we're going to create the workload for the US data we're going to put a seed so if you want to recreate this exercise you, you can put this seed or you can remove it also and for this plot right here that ran really fast we're going to use this function right here text plot workload uh, for this function we have to input I'm sorry, <laughs> input the matrix that we created before for the US data and right here yeah then you have to put the minimum count of words or the frequency the minimum frequency that you want for example in this case I'm because we have a lot of data I'm putting 1000 in minimum count so if a word has a frequency less than 1000 is not going to appear here also we are going to put random order false and a rotation 0.25 and this command right here is for the color so as you can see we have the word analysis of the comments of all these comments and in this plot we can see that the words like love and n are the most common uh, the most used words then uh, then <laughs> then it goes video just and um, love I'm sorry no the emojis as you can see it also comes the emojis that's pretty awesome for this library and then you can see the less repeated words right here so for the word cloud in the UK it's going to be the same we're going to use also 1000 words for the minimum count and as you can see we get a similar uh, not identical but a similar result the most common word in UK is love then go like then go video there are some emojis but uh, let me put this right here so we can see both plots at the same time uh, at the right is from UK and at the left is from I'm sorry from from US and you can see the plot is pretty nice to to see so if you can uh, you want to put this and in a work is pretty nice and you can see it's pretty wise some the the thing that this library does so I think this is all for this tutorial as I say this is going to be a fast tutorial I really have <laughs> Uh, a lot of problems working with the library because I really don't understand uh, at the beginning I really don't understand what are these matrix or why we have to put in corpus but it's only for the library to, to work uh, for uh, so you can make the algorithm work so before we end, we end this tutorial uh, so we are work working in a um, our notebook so if we hit ctrl shift k 
are going to see this in a HTML format and you can put this on your web page for your portfolio. It's a pretty nice, pretty, pretty, pretty nice uh, code. It's pretty simple. You can use this for, to analyze a lot of text. I've seen people analyzing books, uh, Twitter, uh, <laughs> Twitter, yeah, tweets, I'm sorry, tweets. It's pretty nice to do this. So I hope this tutorial works and thank you for watching.